On September 14th, 2001, Nintendo released their sixth generation console, the GameCube. It was Nintendo's fifth console. Its predecessor was the Nintendo 64. Its development was started in 1998 and was eventually developed under the name Project Dolphin. When it was released, its price was $199. Around 22 million GameCubes were sold, which lagged behind the PlayStation 2 substantially, which sold over seven times that many. Some really popular games came out on the GameCube, including Super Smash Bros. Melee, F-Zero GX, Metroid Prime, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess, and Resident Evil 4. The GameCube features a 485 MHz, 32-bit IBM PowerPC CPU named Gecko with 24 megabytes of system memory. An additional 3 megabytes of memory is dedicated to graphics and another 16 megabytes is dedicated to buffering audio and the GameCube's proprietary mini-DVD style optical drive. The GPU is a 162 megahertz chip developed by Artix. Its code name is Flipper, keeping with the theme of Project Dolphin. The GameCube's video output is standard definition at 640x480 and its PAL equivalent, with progressive scan capability. Video outputs include S-Video, Component, and Composite Video. Regarding the audio capabilities of the console, the audio processor supports 16-bit, 48kHz sample rate audio encoded as ADPCM. ADPCM, if you haven't seen it in my other videos, stands for Adaptive Differential Pulse Code Modulation, and it's a fast and simple compression algorithm for audio. The audio chip supports up to 64 channels and runs at 81 MHz with 16 MB of RAM available to it. Other notable features at the launch of the console included wireless controller support and online connectivity via dial-up and broadband adapters. The BIOS firmware, or IPL, initial payload, is only 2 MB in size. To descramble the BIOS and extract the audio samples, I had to use some tools developed as part of the Nintendont project. I have to say, this would have been nearly impossible for me to reverse engineer on my own. As it turns out, the startup sound is pre-recorded. I was almost certain, from listening to it, that it was a sequence that used small instrument samples, but no, it's all a single recording. What do you know? <laughs> to be exact, it is made of two ADPCM streams, one for the left channel and one for the right, for stereo playback. Nintendo uses their own variation of the ADPCM algorithm, just like the Sony PlayStation 1 and 2 and the Sega Dreamcast use their own variants of ADPCM. Now, to break down the startup sound itself. It's a xylophone sound with some pizzicato strings as accompaniment. There are some other sounds in there as well. Here's the breakdown of the notes. On the xylophone, it's E5, B5, E6, A6, D7, A6, D flat 7, G sharp 6, E flat 6, G sharp 6, F sharp 6, D flat 6, G sharp 5, D flat 6, D6, G6, C7, E7, B flat 7, F7, C7, A7, E7, B6, and G sharp 7. Bingo! And for the pizzicato strings, E5 and F sharp 5, A4, E4, D flat 5 and E flat 5, G sharp 4, D flat 4, G sharp 4, C5 and D5, G sharp 4, G sharp 5 and B flat 5, A4, D5, F sharp 5 and G sharp 5, and then B flat 3, C5 and E5. Bingo.
There is a zap sound at the very beginning, and the last note also has a quick snare drum roll. There are some other subtle sounds mixed in the original that I didn't bother with here. The rest of the samples found in the BIOS file are related to the menus and other functions in the BIOS firmware and are not relevant to the startup sound itself. There are 11 other sounds in the BIOS. Four of them are left and right channels for stereo sounds. Now, I don't have them in any particular order here. That squeaky monkey laughter sound is actually an alternative startup sound for the GameCube. You get this Easter egg by taking the controller, and right at the beginning of the startup, before the GameCube logo appears, you hold down the Z button on the controller. Likewise, with that Tejime yelling sound, you do the exact same thing, but with all four controllers at the same time. The background music loop for the menus is, however, synthesized in real time with some of these other samples. Well, what do you know? The GameCube startup sound is all just one pre-recorded sound. You know, from the sound of it, I was almost 100% certain that the thing was synthesized in real time, just like with the PlayStation 1 and 2, but no, just like the Dreamcast. And while there wasn't a lot of technical breakdown involved this time around, I hope you still found this somewhat informative or at least entertaining. I'd like to give a special thanks to my brother, Dan. He supplied some footage of the GameCube and made a cameo in this video. If you'd like, please check out his channel at Dan Eats and Drums. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.